during a recently held meeting of the Welfare Society of the CEB retirees, Minister Partley Chompika Ranavaka made some startling revelations on the financial irregularities in the CEB. The EPF and ETF scam, the Entrust scam. When you look into these scams, they are not small figures. These scams are worth 12 billion. This is an amazing country. A little girl was sent to remand prison for a month for stealing eight coconuts. A school principal was sent to prison for eight years because she accepted a bribe of 25,000 rupees. However, what happens when you steal 12 billion? The individual who stole 2.5 billion rupees from the EPF of 18,000 CEB employees was released in two days. If the people don't feel that justice is done through the law, they will lose faith in it. Courts being independent is not enough. They should be efficient and impartial. Everyone should be able to clearly see that justice is being meted out. The people who stole from the EPF of the CEB are free today. They have bought horses worth millions. They have purchased helicopters. Justice has not been done. I am saddened about the legal process in the country. What is the message that it gives? It says that if you are going to be corrupt, don't take small amounts of 25,000 or 50,000. You have to deal with millions and billions. What happened to the bond scam that shook the entire nation? The chief suspect who should have been brought to the golf face and tried has been allowed to stay silent without giving a statement. The 9% interest rates rose to 14% because of the bond scam. In addition to the money they stole, they are causing an annual loss to the government of 95 billion rupees. The impact on the economy is worth trillions. However, these individuals walk away from all this because of the legal points brought out by lawyers who rake in millions. They say that back then, a son of the royal family spent millions to send a satellite named Supreme Sat into orbit. They took money from the CEB for this purpose, a total of 460 million. I lodged a complaint that the case is being heard. I have no idea when justice will be meted out. They did this scam under the guise of importing coal. We were able to arrest some of the people involved in the scam, but since they had stolen a lot, they were released in a few days.